Hello. What up? My name is Jazz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how... Okay. My mind isn't working. Basically I'll tell you what happened. This... Ugh, this is my purple broccoli and I think it needs a bigger pot. However, I do not have a bigger pot. So what I'm going to do is plant it in this bag and I'm going to show you how I'm going to plant it in this bag and use this bag as a pot. Understand? Okay, sick. So let's go do that. First you need a bag. This is an old bag of compost. I don't know whether I should turn it inside out so it's got like nice black on it or if I should keep it. No, I'll keep it this way so the chemicals don't go in it. Okay, so this is my bag and I've stood it up like this. Okay, <laughs> you see? And I'm going to put soil in here. So BRB. Okay, so before we put um, compost or soil or whatever in it, what we need to do is we need to fold this a specific way so that it stands up like a plant pot. So you see the corners. I don't know how to do this one-handed, but we want to like fold, like turn the corners inside out. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard with one hand. Hang on. You see how I'm like pushing them? Hang on, hang on. Okay, I hope you can still see what I'm doing. Okay. There's the corner. So I'm like making it wide and I'm pushing the corner, like I'm like turning the corner inside out like that. Probably like, oh, and then I'm doing this other side. I'm probably turning it up like two or three inches. And then I'm pulling. Hang on, you can't see. Okay, so now there's like a little mouth. Hello, I am a bag. See, it talks. And we're gonna, well, like that, you see. Can, does that make any sense? I hope it did. So now, by doing this, it enables us to stand the bag up. You see, now the bag stands with more efficiency. And it's not like a, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know words today. I've had very little coffee. Okay. Oh, bloody glasses. I have to dig down a little bit because the top layer is kind of grassy. Okay. There's a lot of digging lately. Oh, I've got a blister for when I had to dig Mitzi's grave. I had to dig me to grave. I've got really bad blisters on my hand. You can't really see because my hands are dirty from mud. But that's because I've been gardening. I have gardener's hands. Okay, I'm just going to tell you when this is like full up. Hey, look at my little wormy friend. I'll call him Winston, the worm. And he seems to like it in here, so we'll pop him back in and he can keep making compost. Quickly just gonna say, this all is a compost pile, but the grass was mowed the other day, so that's why there's a of grass on top. But this is like, if you dig down, it's like really good quality compost. Okay, cool. Oh, another little worm! Hello! Aww. Winfred. Okay, another thing I'm just gonna do is get some of this. This is from the fire. We burnt some wood and it's the ash from the burnt wood. I'm just gonna pop that in here just because it's good for the soil. I might put some sand in there if it needs it because some of this can get quite clay-like if you dig too too far deep. But um, yeah, BRB. Okay, so the bag is three quarters full and I have transported it with great difficulty all the way down to my little patch of garden. This is my little bit of the garden. Also, this is Laura, my lavender. She's brand new and I love her. Anyway, okay, so now it's time to poke drainage holes. I don't know why there's a co-op bag. Is that a co-op bag? I don't know. I don't know why there's a co-op bag there. Maybe I'll put something in it. Okay, now the way I poke holes is I use my claws, you see? And that will just pierce straight through. Have a little wiggle. Now if you don't have claws, you can use any old stabby item or any sort of malicious juju device that you can find. But however, my cat claws are recommended. 
Okay, so we don't want too many. This is just to like, we get good circulation, good drainage. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be good. We don't want any root rottage. Rip Martin. Um, okay, so that's like that. I'm just gonna fold this down so we can see deeper in. Okay, BRB. So this is my purple broccoli plant. It's still kind of a baby, but well, she needs some like a bigger room. So we're just gonna put her in here very gently. So I'm gonna take this little sign I've got and I'm just gonna plop it here. Plop. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. And now I'm going to, okay, I need to put the camera somewhere. I mean, can it go here? I suppose it can go there. Okay, so the bag is here, listen. Hopefully you heard the sound of that bag rustling so you know I'm not lying and it is in fact there. Okay, this is said purple broccoli. And okay, this, this might go wrong. So I'm going to very carefully, I'm going to place my palm very gently. I don't want to crush any roots. Uh, oops. Okay, hang on. Lifting. Oh, Ooh. oh bugger. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay. That was so gentle. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, hang on. That actually looks great. Okay, it's not on focus. Okay, that actually looks great. Okay, look at her. Okay, I don't know if she's okay like that. I'm sure she is. Now, I'm going to just like, like, I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. Rustling her. My shadow's been in the way of this terrible shot. Hang on. But I'm being gentle. I'm giving her a gentle jiggle. Okay, gentle jiggle, like this. And now I'm taking, there's like a gap between, this is like, this is like the plant and this is a gap. I'm gonna reach my hand down and bring up some soil and like try and pat it like that. Breaking her up a little bit, spreading her out. Like I'm not damaging any of the roots by the way because that would be sacrilege to my poor little broccoli digging from this is a spatachio wow I can totally talk today a spatachio <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be one now what I call them it's a pistachio shell I just chucked them like like I just sometimes I just chuck random things near my plants and see if they'll like it spreading these out a little bit I suppose I could put some back in here because now I've got a pot although you see what I'm sitting on is another bag of soil but it's really comfortable for my booty, so I've been trying not to use it and been digging the compost at the top of the garden, but that's really loads of effort. So I might just have to open this bag and get another bag to sit on. But it was really comfy on my bum bum. Ugh, effort. I'm just still loosening her up, by the way. I've decided just to bite the bullet and um, ruin my manicure. Look at my nice nails. Anyway, I'm just gonna use my claws to open this. I'm just gonna do that oh my goodness hang on I think I've blunted my claws why aren't they working okay come on there we go I'm just gonna open a little corner pop that there I'm just gonna, ooh. I'm going to take some from here. Like this one, it's just like falling out, you see? And I'm just gonna plop it in here. I don't know if broccoli needs support beams. Like my tomato over there, I've put a big stick in it so that it like can climb up the stick and like be strong and like, you know like how old people need walking sticks because like they can't support themselves because they're so like old and heavy and weak because like old people are like babies. But like that's okay, I think that's so cute when little old people have their little sticks. Anyway, I might put sticks in. You see, she keeps flopping. And anyway, I'm just gonna put a few of these, the ones that are just naturally falling, you see. Although, I thought the root system was going to be more intense. But if I show you, not intense, advanced. Hang on, what if I put it in a black background? I don't know if you can see, but you see that's the, that's the entire root system. 
and I, that's tiny. I don't know if these broccolis have failed, but like they're nice and bushy. Although they've still got like baby leaves, but you can see here the leaves are starting to develop. I don't know. It's a bit tricky. I don't know what to do about these. I'm going to Google pictures of what broccoli plants are supposed to look like and see if mine look like the same. But yeah, I'm just going to keep plopping these in. Hopefully they'll like this new soil. I'm sure they'll like it. They're very grateful plants. Gotta look after them. Okay, so I've done that and I've done that. And I've also put some, you know this, this uh, seat soil? I've also, pff, ignore my hairy ass legs. I totally haven't shaved today or yesterday or the day before. Do I disgust you? Anyway, oh, it's a bloody shadow. I've, I also, I just think they're looking a bit limp. And so I'm going to give them a good water, but I've what I've done this seat soil that I'm sat on, I've just put a handful, and I've tried to make sure all the roots are covering and the all the roots are covered, and the what's it called leaves are not covered. So I've done that, and now I'm just wondering. I put an, a handful of this <gasps> seat soil. I've put a handful of that for nutrients. It's also got more nutrients with the soil I just put in this bag. Um, but I think what I might do, and I don't know if this is gonna help, but I'm just gonna, I've got this like thing of eggshells. I keep, up uh, hiccup. Oh, I'm gonna hiccup again. This is my thing of eggshells and because eggshells are good for, for some plants. I don't know if broccoli likes eggshells. It keeps the slugs off because they're like ouchy. I'm like, ugh. and I think it's, is it calcium or something? Uh, I forgot what the chemicals, not the chemical. I forgot what the thing's called that's in it, but it's really good for my tomatoes. My tomatoes love eggshells. And sometimes I've put some of my radishes and they seem to be thriving. So basically these, the nutrients that I think might be like calcium based. Anyway, if you crush it up, these good nutrients come and they get in this soil and like, you know, like it's like food kind of, and it keeps the bugs off. So I'm, did you know what, it won't hurt just sprinkling a little eggshell on top. I'm sure it won't hurt. There you go. Keeps the bugs off. Give you a few too. Ugh. Sure that won't do any harm and I'm sure it will only do good. But yeah, so, okay, now what I'm going to do is get this. This is my handy, I want to say handy dandy little pumpy doodah. Basically you do this. Ugh. Okay, and this is proof that I am God because look, okay, no, I'm not God. I know God, he's very nice. Um, look, you press this, see my thumb? Look, and we can shoot them, it's ever so much fun. It's like a water pistol. I tell you, I take this to water fights and I win and cheat because it's like a whole tank and you can like make it spray. Oh wait, we're supposed to be watering these ones. I'm gonna give them a good a deep, a good deep water. I'm gonna saturate them. I'm going to, oh, here you go. You can have some too, Laura. Yes! That was me showing you how I put a plant in a bag and hopefully maybe it could be helpful to one of you or two of you. And it just comes to show that it's not the, well it's, I understand it's not the most beautiful in some people's perspective way of planting. However, it does just go to show that life can grow anywhere and life can go anywhere. So you know it might die i hope it doesn't die I, actually i'm an earth sign of course my plants don't die apart from that one time <sighs> i haven't announced it yet it's really tragic for me i lost a plant and um i totally didn't cry but anyway that was me planting what was i planting purple broccoli in a uh oh what's this Oh, look at the cute little seashell. Isn't that nice? I love that. Um, oh, what was I saying? Anyway, if you liked this video, you can press like if you like. And, well, if you want to subscribe, feel free. 
I've lost subscribers and I don't know what I did. I think I've angered someone. I don't know what I've done, but there's been a bit, well, somebody's obviously in a tizzy because I don't know what bloody hell I did. Maybe they unsubscribed because I was too fabulous. Lamau. Anyway, see you later. Bye bye.